Hello everyone and welcome to Programming in Access 2013, the Advanced Course. My name is Steve Bishop and this video is an introduction to the Advanced Course. So this is what the course will be covering. First we're going to talk about migrating your data to the Microsoft SQL Server platform. This is a very important step if you're going to be taking your application to the enterprise level. We're going to be talking about how to connect the front end to your SQL Server. We're going to also talk about using ADO and DAO class objects in your VBA code. We'll also be building complex forms, which includes subforms, tabs, navigation buttons, charts and graphs, and we'll also be talking about how to reduce the loading time for your forms, especially when you're dealing with large pieces of data that fill in the information on your form. Then of course we'll be talking about integrating with other applications. This includes integrating with Outlook, how to run command lines to other utilities, as well as the file system object, which is a very handy uh, utility that you can use to manipulate files on your local drive. We'll also be talking about using other data types and APIs, such as XML, JSON, and utilizing the WinHttp service, which is a COM object you have available to you to, uh, to actually interact with websites. We'll also be talking about distributing your software, which includes talking about the Access Runtime Executable, which is freely available to distribute with your software. This means that you do not need uh, everyone that you send your software package to to actually have a full installation of Access 2013. You can actually send them the runtime executable. We'll also talk about creating an MSI package which can actually include the runtime executable with it so you can kind of bundle it all together in one. And of course we'll talk about versioning because that's a very important topic when you're talking about distributing your software. We'll also be covering whatever else comes to my mind uh, and whatever questions you guys might have along the way. Hopefully we can cover as much as we can in this course. Uh, obviously some things fall through the cracks and that's where I suggest that you go visit my how-to section to, visit, to see what some of those things might be. So what will you need for this course? You will need a PC computer, not an Apple, that runs Windows Vista or higher. It must be a PC. You'll obviously need a lot of time. Uh, for those of you who went through my basic course, you'll know that there is a lot of information and it takes a long time to go through all of it. But it is definitely worth going through from beginning to end and watching all of the videos. You'll need Microsoft Office 2013 with Access. And this is primarily because we will be talking about how to integrate with Outlook and Excel and that sort of thing. You'll also need Microsoft SQL Server Express 2012 or higher. You can also use 2014, but it must be with advanced services so we can actually use the SQL Server Management Studio. So that is very important to get the advanced services. We will discuss in a future video how to get the SQL Server Express 2012 or greater. It is a free software application. You do not have to purchase it. Hopefully you've also watched the Programming in Access 2013 course in its entirety. It is very important that you've watched all of those videos because we will be discussing topics in this course that will be kind of going over some of the things that you should have already have known. And if you haven't seen those videos in the basic course, you will definitely get lost in a lot of cases. And of course, it's really, really important that you have some sort of project in mind when you're viewing this course. I definitely recommend that if you do not have some sort of project that you plan on designing or creating at the end of this course, that you start to figure out something that you want to do. It's the practicing and the actual utilization of what you learn that is so important for your education. Simply sitting here watching videos and going, uh-huh, Steve, I get it, I get it, okay, great, thanks for showing me that, is not going to be enough for you to actually translate that into a practical application that you can use in the real world. So definitely put together some sort of project in your mind that you plan on developing. You can even you know, proceed with developing it yourself, uh, but you'll probably find yourself going back and backtracking on some of the stuff that you did in that project when you realize that there are better ways of doing things. So anyway, on we go, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.